In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an operation manual for machinery that complies with European requirements. Just follow the five steps that I'll explain in this video. In the first step, you have to identify the directives that apply to your machinery. To do so, go to instructive.com slash en slash ce marking where you can find an overview of all possible CE directives. Mark any directive that may apply to your machinery. Most likely, this is definitely the machinery directive, but other directives may apply as well. If the directive really applies, will be determined next. Go to this website of the European Commission, where you can find and open the directives that you've just marked. Consult the scope, exclusions which are part of the scope and definitions to determine if the directive really applies to your machinery. Download and save all directives that apply. Next Create a spreadsheet and add the directive names to the first column of the spreadsheet. In the next step, we're going to identify the vertical standards. I want you to go to the same page of the European Commission. Click on the product group that applies to your machinery. There, you'll find a link called Summary list of titles and references of harmonized standards. Open this file. Determine which standards apply to your machinery. Verify if these standards include requirements on the instructions. Most normalization institutes have published the table of contents of standards online. Check these table of contents and see if they contain a section called marking and instructions or user instructions. If so, purchase these standards and add the standard names to the first column of the spreadsheet. In step 3, we're going to determine the relevant requirements. Open each directive that you've just saved and press Ctrl F. Search for instructions. For the machinery directive, you can go directly to section 1.7.4. For standards, go to the chapter Marking and Instructions. Add all relevant requirements to the second column of your spreadsheet. In step 4, we're going to determine the horizontal standards. Besides the vertical standards that we've just determined that say something about a specific product group, horizontal standards apply to a broad range of product groups. The most important one is the 82079 standard on information for use. This standard contains almost all requirements to create information for use and gives guidelines for the content, presentation and structure of your instructions. Another important standard is the ISO 2607 on instruction handbooks. This standard can be seen as an addition to the 82079 standard with specific requirements to create instruction handbooks to comply with the requirements of the machinery directive. Optionally, you can purchase the ISO 3864 on safety symbols and NZ Z535.6 on safety messages. Add the standard names to the first column of your spreadsheet and add the relevant requirements to the second column. This is how your spreadsheet may look like. In step 5, we're going to draw up the instructions. This is where the actual technical writing comes in. As you've just determined what should be in your user instructions, now you can start creating them. If you want to save time and money, you can also purchase one of our templates. Our templates contain all legally required components to create user instructions for your machinery. Just click on the link below this video to visit our web store. What does the template include? It includes all elements to comply with the machinery directive. All elements to comply with ISO 2607 on instruction handbooks. 
all elements to comply with the A2079 standard, elements to comply with Wii, battery and the packaging directive, and all elements to comply with NZ Z535.6 and ISO 3864. We offer a 14 day no reason required guarantee and you'll get a full refund if you're not satisfied with our template. Additionally, you'll get a CE marking checklist, an A2079 checklist, an ebook on how to create compliant user instructions and an InDesign template. Just click on the link below this video to visit our web store.